Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks From The Heart. Well, yep, the thumbnail said it. I have a new Hobonichi Weeks for 2023 and I'm going to blame Rachel at Rachel Beauty Plans. <laughs> She's probably thinking, wh who me? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I was watching her social media planner and the cloth and paper planner that I was using um, for my YouTube, it, it fell by the wayside faster than any of the other ones that I did in my um, planner stack video. So uh, I haven't really had a YouTube uh, planner do. Okay. And let's just, let's just be open and honest here. Do I need this? Absolutely not. Could I just put stuff in my Hobonichi uh, cousin? Absolutely. Did I want to? Did I think about it? Sort of. <laughs> and I kind of went through, um, I kind of went through this like, okay, how can I be, um, how can I be absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and get another planner in my lineup and be the most frugal economic and have it be the most frugal economic way. And it was the Hobonichi weeks. So I did it. Okay. <laughs> I have lots. I do have a Hobonichi weeks and I have it in the Uriliko. Please have mercy on me with that name. I, for whatever reason, I have a mental block on saying it correctly. I have it in one of, um, in this cover here. And that's one of the changes. Um, this has been working fabulous for me. I'm going to get asked. This is from Oki Plans. There's a coupon code below. Super crazy cute. Um, and so a um, couple of the reasons why I chose the Hobonichi Weeks instead of maybe a smaller planner was because I already had a lot of kits, a lot of stuff stacked up from uh, lots of time buying kits. I had this and a plain cover downstairs, so I already had the cover on cover. Didn't have to buy that. Rachel made me this. I pulled this out of the stash when I went to the basement to the uh, planter graveyard to see. I actually went down there to see if I had had one that I started that I could um, reuse, and they were mostly three-fourths the way used up, or ugh, it was a hot mess, and I thought, nope, I'm not going to do it. I always try to do as frugal as I can, and sometimes it just pays to just buy the new planner. Okay, for me, that's my decision. So this is something that Rachel made me. I'm going to use this. And then I already had my Giglio cover. And it was sitting there um, very loved and unappreciated. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I bought this. This isn't why we're here. But um, I bought this because in this um, gratitude or word of the day uh, weeks. I'm going strong in this, but I like to have pen options. This case gave me that. So um, yeah, I will link um, I will link this website below because I bought it straight from Japan because it's sold out everywhere in the US. I love this cover. I've never stopped loving it. So I think what we're going to do in this video is, um, so I bought this from Amazon. I really like the purple. Um, it's so pretty. It's not the mega. And what I'm going to do, um, with this planner is it's going to be my YouTube memory planner. I'm literally going to back plan. I'm literally going to do what Rachel does. And she does, she has the task, uh, planner. I think she uses this, the angel shop. I personally did not go for that because a, all these reasons here, I didn't have to buy any of this. This was all something I already had. And so, plus the cover. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, oh, I have two of these. I don't know. Huh. I don't know that I need them, but I will put them away for safekeeping. What I'm going to do in this plant, oh, here's a third one. <laughs> Obviously, I don't use those plastic. Oh, it's Tor. That's why it was downstairs. All right, well, we're just gonna go with it. Um, I have a um, I have a plain one, but I don't think that much matters. I want to see what the purple looks like with the graphics on the front of this cover on cover, because I think it'll be pretty. Oh yeah, one hundred percent pretty. I may not have to decorate the front of this now. I do not like these, but I won't tear them out on camera because I know it freaks some people out. All right, so in this uh, planner. 
I'm going to just use it as my YouTube memory planner, an accomplishment planner. And um, I'm going to do what Rachel does. I'm going to decorate the weeks and I'm going to just enjoy my sticker kits. I'm probably going to use the um, leftovers of the functional bundle and I'm searching for them now because I keep them in a little uh, folder. Get this from, and I have these and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pull out something that matches probably more likely this size and this size in the weeks right here and then just put the name of the video and maybe keep track of the subs and um, yeah, my subs and the names of the videos and then not much worry about this side. I don't know, I am I just feel okay with this decision and I just want to have like, I just wanna have a dedicated area where I keep track of the videos that I put up and, and then the back um, pages here will be uh, brainstorming video ideas and stuff like that. This is not fitting too good and I don't get why it's not. All right, so I've started to say this in the last couple minutes. Um, that, you know, YouTube is a big accomplishment for me and if you have a channel, you can attest to what I'm gonna say and that is it is a labor of love for a long time unless you're one of those channels that goes viral right away and just blows up. Okay, and those channels are very far and few between no matter what um, type of videos you put out and what type of subculture. It's kind of like, hey, I want to be an actor. And then not everybody um, ends up being, you know, Keanu Reeves. By the way, can we just say how hot he is? He is so hot. Um, but I think you know what I'm saying. And so I actually wish I would have done this years ago and um, just kind of kept track of my accomplishments on YouTube as a memory uh, for myself. So this is just to just, um, I don't like how this is fitting you guys. So I think I'm gonna take it off for right now. I may go get the clear one. Maybe it's because this is tore. I don't know. But I'm just going to um, I'm gonna go back and back plan this. And um, I'm just going to start January 1st and just start this year and see, and see how it goes. I think, actually, I'm going to love it a lot. I'm going to really enjoy um, looking at what I, what I accomplished for the year. And, um, and just, you know, just enjoy that and appreciate that the hard work that I put in um, on YouTube. So um, what I'm gonna do is I have I have my die cuts. That's all I've really pulled out so far so far is I have a little box. Let's pull I have a little box here. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's old. Look at even the sun. And I have all of my die cuts and stickers and stuff in here. And I'm going to just decorate this planner. I'm going to um, go back January 1st and put in the videos um, using my kits. And maybe some weeks won't have kits. And we're just gonna um, go back and do that January 1st. And then I'm gonna come back um, and show you a full flip. Because I plan, oh, you guys, I got this off Amazon, it popped up, and I'm like, it has to be mine. You know how I always say I plan like a herd of turtles? Look at this pocket pal. He's a turtle. Look at this. <laughs> this is what got me in the picture. I'll link them below. And I, I thought, oh, I have to have him. I mean, I do. I plan like a herd of turtles. I get interrupted. I don't like feeling pressured when I'm on camera sometimes when I'm decorating and making choices because it takes me a long time. And so this is the best way for you and me to uh, coexist with these types of videos <laughs> is that I go, I just do it all off camera and then come back and show you. So, all right, so let's do that. Um, he doesn't have a name. If you want to, um, if you want, and he doesn't have a belly button. Sarah asked me, does he have a belly button? No, it goes in like that. But if you want to name this little guy, um, that looks weird. If you want to give me some name ideas, I'd love it. Isn't he cute? <laughs> this, this just cry. I will forever laugh at this. I don't know. It's so cute. So sound down below if you want to help me name this little guy. He's so cute, little turtle man. Um, 
I think my daughter said doogie, but I don't know. That didn't really, I don't know. It didn't click with me. So now he's on his back and uh, showing us his underbelly. <laughs> Which is what we do a lot on YouTube is we give you a peek behind the curtain or show our underbelly and, and you're like, oh, no, I have to unsubscribe. So, OK, so I can be kind of goofy, but um, all right. So this is going to be hours and hours and hours and hours for you a second. OK, I I'm ready to show some of it. I went through my die cuts um, and I will put that little clip here uh, in picture in picture and um these two I really really like I like this one kind of tucked tucked um kind of under the plastic so I think we're gonna I don't know but then I thought I I found these you guys I have so many old vinyls it's nuts and I thought this would be cute like that so what I do is my cover and covers, I decorate them on top because I will always store the Hobonichi Weeks with the cover on cover. That's so cute. So then I thought, okay, so I know I'm bouncing all over the place. And it's just because I'm trying to share the experience with you, but it's super hard to stay creative and then sometimes remember to turn the camera on. So this is what I have in the pockets. So I pulled this out because it was laminated and I thought that would be cute in the pocket. You guys, you know I'm pocket challenged. Could we do her? It's almost a little too much. I struggle so much with pockets. Let's see. So this is the April Freebie from Pookie Bear Cuties, and I started um, laminating that. Oh, I like that better. And then we'll just we'll just do that. And see, she'd be cute right here, but you have to pick, right? So, oh boy. So I've got. I just think that would be super, super cute. Really simple. I, I'm gonna save that as an option. I thought I was ready. See, I'm not. So I have these that I've been hoarding. This one, this one, I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. And let's start here though. I love this, um, and it just says, be happy with what you have while you're working for what you want. And I'm probably gonna repeat this a couple of times in this video. You know, YouTube is a labor of love. Um, a lot of times people are doing it for free uh, with no money, and I don't know anybody who's gonna take a job and not get paid. If somebody says, oh yeah, we're not gonna pay you, just put it out there. So you have to work for it. You have to work for it and you can't quit. You cannot give up. I love this. <laughs> Don't act like I'm average. I want to put that right here. Okay. Also, um, I'm not trying to be negative Nancy about YouTube. I actually, I, I have a lot of fun doing it, but sometimes it can be really disheartening. Like if I put up a video and the next day I've lost like a number of subscribers I'm like what did I say <laughs> so you really have to like oh that's cute you really have to just kind of just do it because you love it okay so this is 2023 here so I don't think I have to do that um, I do want to cut so I pulled out my personal rings some of the dashboards that I had um, I think I'm gonna skip this but I think I know where I want to put this. So I'm going to um, have to pull out my cutter and do that. And then I want to put this cardstock here because it's so it's so perfect for my YouTube channel and um, what I put out there. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep that there. So I tuck these in here. This is from Pookie Bear Cuties, and I'm just going to angle it right here. I like that. 
So die cut stickers are so much fun. Um, I'm gonna angle it. Yay, that's so cute. All right, this I'm actually gonna just, I'm. it's gonna be such, it's gonna be so much repetitive information, but I don't care, it's so fun. I did think that I wanted to, um, so I'm, I'm gonna need to order eventually, but I'm not in a hurry, um, some full Hobonichi Weeks sticker um, page. I don't have any right now, but I thought I could tip in some vellum on the monthlies, but I'm kind of losing steam on that. I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, go big or go home, but at the same time, I don't know that I want to bulk this up like this. So I'm going to take these out. These were just spare loose ones I had, and I, I, I can do that later if I decide that I want to do that. But I do I do really appreciate when the month at a glance is um, is clean. So this one, I liked I liked this here, but now I think I like this here. And I don't know if my eyes are blurry or the camera's blurry. I'm not going to use this, the note pages. I'm very much, they're just gonna be functional where I just make scribble notes and stuff like that, which also is gonna be super nice because I have notes in my journal for YouTube, notes in my cousin for YouTube, notes in my um, uh, in my passport that I carry in my purse if stuff comes up in my head and I don't wanna forget. Um, I did really like this tipped in, but this won't go. Could do both. We could do both. All right, so let me pull out my little, my little paper trimmer that I have. I got this um, from Hobby Lobby and I, I wanted something smaller for situations like this. So I just need to um, trim off the holes. Make sure it's straight. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. So I pulled out my, so let's put this down because I'm gonna commit. I'm going to commit. Uh, this is, yeah, I have sticker. I have decision fatigue, if that's a thing, where I just, and I don't know, you guys. I do not know if it's because um, I don't like that there without something covering it. I have this. Nope. I don't know if it's because I have so much stuff to pick from or if I'm just, I think it's not that. I think I have um, absolute issues. I'm gonna use this. I think I have issues with, um, I've always had issues with making decisions, always. Okay, um, I like this for my A5 and I like this for right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this and I'm just gonna do it like this with scissors for the sake of filming. It's not a big deal. This planner does not have to be perfect. Okay. Cooper's outside barking. We are going to ignore him because it's probably the mailman. All right, so I'm going to uh, pull out my mono adhesive and I'm just gonna keep it simple. I want it to kind of cover up that subtly. And I think that I think that does that. And then I think I'm just gonna put it in the middle. 
Yeah. All right, and now I need my um, double-sided tape. This is a 1.5 millimeter. It's in my Amazon storefront. Uh, it is the best thing since sliced bread. And I'm just gonna tip it in. And I need my tweezers. And I'm gonna trim this off because it's kind of janky with um, cat hair and stuff. Okay. So uh, let's put this down. It's always best to use tweezers with this. It's super crazy sticky. And I am definitely needing my readers lately, you guys. Okay, so you just put that down on the side you want it on, pull up the strip. And and then I just, and this strip is super sticky. It like sticks to your hands. And then just, I just tuck it in the spine. I like it to be as close to that as possible. Look at how cute that is. I think it's cute. I like it. I like this because it kind of gets rid of the um, the background that I, I'm not really going to use. And that's the start of my note pages. I like that. Um, okay, so we're going to cut off. We're going to cut off this, tip it in, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys. <laughs> it's frightening, you guys, how, how I get so like, no, I don't want that. No, I, I want that. No, I'm... <laughs> I think I love this and I think I'm gonna save that for for something else I love this I love that but I think I love this the most and I think I just like just that I could put I could put this on top but see, it takes up the two. And so I could do that. And I think I will. Okay, we're just going to do it, you guys. We're just going to own it and do it. Get it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know I like it tilted. That is super cute. Okay. And then let's just let's just use it. So this is from Frank Hart's You. Good luck catching them open. Um, I bought this a long, long time ago. And then this is from Scribble Prints Co. And um, yeah. Okay, so the cover on cover is done. And then um, I love I love this here, like that. I just love that little girl from Shine Sticker Studio. Um, but then I also love this from Sweet Quiet Designs. And I like to represent all of the shops. Now this I could put actually on the pocket. And I like that. So I don't know. I have to also laminate her, I think. Um, so I've got Pookie Bear. I've got Oki Plans. So I do, I do like that. It's holographic. Oh, I love that so much. I think I'm going to do it. And then I think I'm going to have to t take a break from, uh, and go to the weeklies and start marking stuff down because, um, I do like to, um, kind of, save some of the die cut vinyl sticker decorations for I like to save some space if that makes sense um and not do it all at once because what if I get another cute vinyl okay um I am gonna put this this fits really cute here too I might just do that so here I glued that on and then I tipped this in and then I thought these would really be cute I thought these really represent 
I love stickers and I love planners and they look good. I mean, it is what it is. So I'm gonna put these down. And that's another thing when you buy these and then they sell out and then they never restock them. It's so like, ugh. then I get to the point where I'm like, all right, I need to hoard. But I'm like, nope, not gonna do that anymore. Coffee Monsters Co. is notorious for that, you guys. If you don't buy something at launch, it's like, ugh. it's just like, yep, good luck. You're never gonna get it again. That is so cute. It's clean, it's simple. This is from Queen City Prints. It's a custom that I had her make when I ordered from her a while ago. And then this is from Hello Petite Paper. It's definitely a style you recognize if you know that shop. And Rachel sent me some cardstock from that. So that is not gonna stay there. I don't like it. I like it just clean. And I do really like something like this up there. But I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm just gonna put these away and just save a little bit of the decoration for later on. I love that little Hello Kitty sticking out. Yeah. So this one, these, I'm gonna tuck in the pockets, you guys, so that I can have them close to me. And if I, um, I'll just do all of these. If I feel like I need to decorate something, I'm I'm just going to have it right here with me. I haven't even done the um the back, which I absolutely could do and I could put I could tuck <laughs> I know I'm just chuckling cuz I'm like, "Yep, this is a welcome to crazy town." Uh where did that sweet Oh, here we go. All right, I can feel myself getting like, Meh, I'm done. I like it. That's where she's going to live. See, I just know when I know, but it takes me a while. Just like a herd of turtles. Oh, that's a cute. Look at that. So cute. All right, I'll be back with, I'm, I'm not going to turn the camera on again. I'll be back with you guys when it's all done. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Uh, it's been a couple of days, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm kind of tired of working on this, but um, I think it turned out really cute. And I'm really excited about my decision. I'm just kind of moving stuff away here. I'm really excited about my decision to start this. And um, I think it's going to be, I actually cannot remember what I said on the um, beginning part of this video. So I apologize for that. I actually think this is going to be really super fun. Um, and very relaxing. I, I think sometimes when I do something all at once, I kind of get a headache and I'm sick of looking at it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but I know that that, that um, attitude and feeling towards this will not, will not uh, stay. Um, so I did stick it in my Giglio and I hate these things so bad, but Giglios are so darn expensive and I don't foresee me ever selling this, but you know, once you cut it off, you can't put it back on. So I'm going to tuck it. See, I can't even, I don't even feel like I can tuck it anywhere. Um, ugh. that's my feeling towards these things. Okay. Honestly, it'd be nice if they could, um, and now that's created a big lump, but let's continue. Um, I may just live wild and cut it off. Um, I do remember I loved this and I wanted to stick her somewhere and I had her in the back pocket on this side, but obviously when I have it in the Julio cover, I will not have that. I It's hidden. So I thought I could do, do I have, I have three of these and they they all face this way. I thought I could um, put this pocket here and then tuck her in here. And I think, oh, Cooper just rang his potty bell. Hold on. Okay, for you, that was a second. Thanks so much for waiting. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put this little sticky pocket that comes with the weeks and I'm just going to, um, actually I'm gonna put it towards 
towards the binding there because if I stick a bigger die cut in there, um, that's gonna make make more room. Super cute. I feel like I should laminate her. Um, I may get that get to that uh, later. Okay, so then I have this 2023. Um, and I want to put that down, and I like that. I like that. This is cute. But then I thought I could put it over here. And I think I might do that. Just kind of tuck it right there. All right, it's done. You guys, can you tell that I get, like, I have decision issues. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, so one, I want to say this. I don't want to forget to say this. One thing that... Um, um, when I was talking to Rachel and she reminded me of the promise she made herself was one thing that I did not want this planner to do is cost me more money. If I had a cover and I could use it, use the cover I have, which I've done. And if I had, um, sticker kits and things like that, absolutely. This is not something that I see. I'm really having issue. Ugh, I should just cut it. I should just cut it. But I didn't want this to cost me more money, okay? Um, I've done that in the past where planners have become a gimmick to me where I'm like, oh, yeah, I need this and I need that. And I'm like, no, I want a special place, um, a remembrance place where I can um, just kind of look back at my accomplishments on YouTube. And I think... I think that you, if you don't have a, I think if you have a channel, this is a great way to do this if you um, think that this is a cool idea. But I also think that you don't, you can do other ideas with this concept. Um, if there's like, say you're training for a marathon and you have, um, and I don't know why I picked that. That's kind of one of my um, pipe dreams is to, um, but I don't run, um, is to, uh, running a marathon, but I don't run. And I always say, if you see me running, you should run too, because that means something's chasing me. <laughs> so <laughs> I absolutely, but I always think they look so cool, you know, running in those marathons. And then I'm like, yeah, get it girl. And, um, but I mean, if you're working towards something or you're doing something just one step at a time, obviously, this is a great way to just have a nice little planner to log your accomplishments. So um, let's do a flip and show you what I created. So I have I have these. I will link all the shops that I shop at that I have coupon codes for under the description box, okay? Um, so this is a custom from Queen City Designs. I love that she put her little logo here so that I can remember that. And it just says talks from the heart. And I just start out with some stickers from the Coffee Monster Co. And then I had, I had pretty much, well, I did not order anything for this. I have already said that. Um, I just ordered the planner. I already had the cover on cover. I already had this cover and all these. So I had everything that you're going to see here and um, I'm really excited that I was able to use some of this stuff. So this is just kind of the um, year at a glance here. And I realize, I 1000% realize this is a lot of redundancy, but I'm okay with it because it's kind of cool. It's going to give me a really cool bird's eye view of how many times I put up a video. I will privately chart um, my subscribers uh, maybe I'll do that here um, as I start getting ramped up. I can't go back and do that unless I charted it in my cousin. I can't remember if I did. Um, but here I just thought, you know what? I'm not going to worry about decorating it. I'm just going to um, put an X on every day that I put out a video. And then the pages that I don't do don't um, use, and I do this in my other Hobonichi Weeks, and then my cousin is I just use jumbo stickers to cover it up. So the month at a glance, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. And like I said um, just a minute ago, I'm getting kind of pooped on this planner. So I'm just going to leave it. And when I feel ready, I will decorate it. But like 
And for sure, I will decorate it. Trust me. I, I own my love for stickers, and I'm not bashful or shy about it. So these will get jumbo stickers. And then I won't, you know, like if I'm placing an order with somebody and they have jumbo stickers, I might get some if I like them. But I won't go out now and purposely buy them. So um, this started... Um, the last week of November, the first week of December. So all these pages will remain blank. And then here I just made it super simple. This was the day that I put up the video saying I was going to take some time off for January. And then I made a really big stupid boo-boo. <sighs> I'm only decorating the, the weeks that I actually have videos. So I won't be forward planning in this at all. It'll be all back planning and, um, or back memory keeping. And what I did was, is I went through my channel and just made notes. And then that way I just had to tuck this like this when I was uh, working on the spreads. So I had no videos this week and I put in this beautiful Josephine Bow Designs kit and it was done before I knew I was screwing up. So if there's not a big boo-boo like this in my planner, then it's not my planner. I do that all the time. All right, so here is when I decided to come back from my break. And this is a Sweet Quiet Designs kit. And you can see how simple I'm keeping this, but it was it's really fun and I think it's gonna be great in years to come for me to flip through. This is from Raspberry Designs, Pookie Bear Cuties. I do wanna add something kind of, um, Ooh, this washi tape would be pretty with it. I won't do it on the video, but that I think I might do that. And then just add like a really fun floral sticker or something. I don't know, but this looks really blank to me. Um, but that's okay. I'll go back when I want to fuss with it. And then Shine Sticker Studio on this kit. Same, looks really blank. Um, a lot of Hobonichi Weeks kits don't really come with a lot of deco, so... Uh, Sweet Quiet Designs does, so you can see how this kind of fills up and it looks a little bit nicer. So I had this book, this sticker um, book, um, over half full, and I have only a couple of kits left, but they're more summer related, so I just wanted to save them. And I will use those in my other weeks too. So here is the other thing I started doing then was I just put washi tape down and some stickers. This is from Oki Plans from Pookie Bear Cuties. And what I did was, this is the other thing that I'm really excited about, was I have a folder that I keep like this, that I keep my extra functional bundle um, stickers that I haven't used um, and it was, well, I'll get, I'll get to this here in a second. And it was super fun to know that I have another avenue now to use those up. That bundle is worth every penny. And she launches it on the first and she always sends it to me to show you guys, which I am so appreciative of. And um, so it, it really goes a long way. Here I used a Tombow. Not so happy about how sloppy I was with it, but that's okay. So, um... These are just half boxes from the functional bundle and then some deco. So again, absolutely sufficient, totally fine. And I love that I'm using my stuff up. This was from Jojo Pretty Paper Shop. I do not have a coupon code for her, but again, functional bundle leftovers. And then I just used some of my grid washi and just got creative and it was so fun. And I think that turned out super pretty. Um, Josephine Bow Designs, she does send a little bit in her kits, some deco boxes, so that was fun. I'm telling you, her foil is impeccable, impeccable. Okay, so um, I had to take a break in the filming, so I don't know where it's going to cut off, but I started to not want to really use up my um, Hobonichi Weeks kits. I only have a couple left, and I'm not going to purposely go out and buy more right now. So I started using some Simply Gilded Washi and some Deco from Pookie Bear Cuties along with the Functional Bundle. And this is like a sheet that I pulled out. These are stickers from Lauren Phelps Designs that Rachel sent me um, in a swap. Was it an admin or a swap? I don't know, I can't remember. But um, uh, so I pulled this out and wanted to use this. And all I did was take my Functional Bundle leftovers and match them up 
And um, let's see, this one's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love the jumbo stickers. I, this, this spread really makes me happy. But then here's the spread here with these stickers that I'm mentioning. Okay, um, boy, I sound stuffed up. Allergies, I must have developed allergies in my old age. So then I think I showed this at the beginning of the video, but then this is where the notes pages start. And I just layered some vellum with this sticker and then tipped this in and added an Avery removable tab. And then here I will just kind of use this chicken scratch uh, notes and things like that or video ideas. This is this back part is not going to be fancy. Maybe I'll add some deco stickers here and there because um, I do have a lot from Happy Planner Books. But then in the back here, now we have that pocket. These were die cuts that I really wanted to use because I love them. I might put that there. Um, again, I'm going to take a break and um, not feel like I have to fill this up so fast. It'll fill up over time, and I'm not. Uh, I'm going to just tuck those there because I want to remember that those are ones that I wanted to use. I don't have anything in the pocket and then I have just a Sharpie S gel and um, also I was going to do this in my cousin but I think I'm going to do it here is the 100 list so I'm going to put uh, use my um, color dot marker pick a color and always use that and just go back and fill that in. Um, I will tell you though um, unlike the cousin I don't see on the dates where they have told me what number to go to. So I can just reference my cousin. And um, yeah, I think this turned out super cute. And I'm super, super excited to just continue working in this after I've had a little bit of a break. And um, yeah, in I'll do a full flip here at the end of the year, probably. Um, absolutely. And I'm, su you know, the other thing I'm really excited about is this is absolutely something that is not private, obviously, that I can go ahead and share and be creative on the channel. So that also is super nice. I didn't even think about that when I was um, thinking about how do I want to replace the original, um, the original YouTube planner that I had gotten from cloth and paper. It just wasn't working. It was too much planner. And, um, and when I came up, I bounced some ideas off Rachel and Sarah. And when I came up with, nope, it's the week's, I'm, I just feel really, really calm about it. Um, it looks so good. Okay, um, I think that's it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember, don't act like I'm average. <laughs> I love this so much. It's from Poogie Bear Cuties. Go get yourself one. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody.